Welcome back to March or Die. I am the Stratus Master. Thank you guys for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys for all the support on all of my videos. And this is part number two of the drill riding series. In the last episode, last part, we learned a lot about what we need to do in order to set up and get ready to start writing for Pyware. Um, so where we left off is we created our, we analyzed our score, we created all of our counts, and now we're gonna transfer that into our count sheet, and then eventually into a template that we're gonna use in order to import into Pyware so that it sets up automatically all of our page tabs. Now there's gonna be some cleanup we're gonna have to do, I'm sure, um, things we're gonna change and modify as we go along in the writing process, but this at least will get us started, get everything imported in, um, the best that we can and then making sure that we have everything where we need it so let's go ahead and get started okay so what we're looking at here is my count sheet so i created this count sheet so that i could use the data to transfer it into pyware you can use whatever you want you can do it manually you can do it however i found this is the best way to have a, kind of like a living document of what i'm doing and i can make changes here um but also it's gonna help us when we go to import this data into Pyware because it needs a lot of this information. Um, for instance, page counts, um, we're not gonna need that to import in, but it's good to, we're gonna, we need it now so that it'll give us the calculations here. I'm sure there's a better, easier way to do it, a slicker way to do it, but this is just the way I've been doing it for years and years and years. And it works for me, it requires a little bit extra work, but it helps me out. And then I don't have to guess on what I'm trying to do. So we're gonna go ahead and start with um, looking at page zero. So page zero, I recommend always having a page zero. So that way you don't have a page one at the very beginning because that's technically not page one. You're really not moving, you're not doing anything, but depending on how you wanna write it, you can do a page one is the very beginning. I always do page zero because it's the very beginning of the show and we're really not moving, it's the opening set. Um, but that way you have an opening set. You can also call it beginning of show, opening set, whatever you want to call it. But it's zero counts because you're not really doing anything yet. Now we're going to look at the real page one, which is down here, which is 36 counts. And we have a hold for four or rotation for four, or whatever we're going to do, um, 24. And then there is a, excuse my, and a hold for eight. So we're going to put 36 counts because we want the total counts. We don't care about the breakdown here. We also need the measure number. So it's measures one through nine. And we're gonna put the notes here. We're gonna put hold four, move 24, hold eight. I always put my holds in all capitals and then the move technically should be lowercase. So I'm gonna change that. Just so I know the difference when I'm looking at it and as a, as of somebody on, like trying to redrill in the field, I can say, oh, hold, it's all, all capitals. It's screaming at me, hold, and then move is not all capitals, and then the other hold. Um, so that way, you can do it however you want, but that's the way I've always done it. Tempo, we wanna put the tempo down. So the tempo is gonna be 84 beats a minute. We're gonna put it in, count, in page zero as well, because technically it's starting, so we want the tempo at the very beginning, and it's really page one that we have the tempo of 84. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the next page, the next uh, page of drill. And that's gonna be our measure 10 with the easy Latin feel. And that's gonna be a 24 count move. And that's measure 10 through, oh, this is really fuzzy. Sorry, it's really fuzzy for you guys, but it's measured through measure 17. I promise it's through measure 17. And we don't know what we're doing yet. It's just a move for 24. And this is easy Latin feel. And then the tempo change here is 120 beats per minute. All right. So we have our first couple pages. Let's go ahead and move forward. Now you can also put in the The bars, I probably should go back and do that. Let's go ahead and do that now before I forget. So we start off in 4-4, four, four, and then we switch to 3-4 at measure 10. So let me go ahead and put that for measure 10 before I forget. I'm gonna put 3-4. If 
three, four bars. That way it kind of gives me and everyone else kind of an idea of what's going on. So I did almost forget that. So that's really, really important, especially if there's multiple changes, which there are. Okay, so now we're going on to, to um, the next page, which is gonna be 20, another 24 counts. And that's at bar 18 through 21. And then, then we go back to the four, four. So we're still in three, four here. Okay. And this is, well, it actually wouldn't be a move. Is it 12 and 12? Hold on. Oh, that's right. Okay. Okay. I almost messed it up here. So we have 12 count move. That's two 12 count moves. So it's, we're going to put, um, sorry, I had to, had to relook this over again. It is 24 counts, but I think it's going to be 12 and then hold. We're not sure if it's going to be 16. I don't know. So we'll put 12 hold for now. This is probably going to change and I probably counted it out wrong earlier. So that's another thing you can catch when you're putting on your count sheet. You're like, well, wait a second. How does that make sense? So we're going to be moved for 12 and then hold for 12, but that, that could change. And I have a feeling it's going to change. So we need to indicate here. We have not only a bar change to four, four to count 13. So count 13, 13, 4, 4, 4, 4 at 96 beats per minute. So this is where it's going to get a little tricky too in Piware because you have, if I was, this is another reason I don't like the um, automatic. The, so I'm going to show you guys later on, you can automatically have it do it by your bars and by your tempo. Um, but it just doesn't, it, when you have stuff like this, then you have to micro it. You have to go, okay, so these two bars are 96. This, this bar is 152. So you actually have to create extra sets when you're counting it out. And then you have to remove those sets later on so that it, it flows properly. So I just like tapping it way simpler. Okay. So we're going to put, um, count, count 13, four, four, nine, 56. And then we're going to put, um, count, was it 20? one count 21 at 152 beats per minute beats per, beats per minute and i put bps i don't know what i'm thinking i'm getting tired uh beats per minute not beats per second bpm okay so kind of have an idea what we're doing like i said we're just blocking it out right now i have a feeling i'm going to change this it's going to might be a move 16 hold for eight who knows but for right now, we're going to just move on. We have it broken down in skeleton. All right, so we are, oops, and I have wrong data here. So this is not 22, um, this is through 20, 22, 23, 24. This is through 24, so, so I had the wrong count. Okay, so now we got the measures right. So take a little bit extra time. Sometimes you're gonna catch mistakes I'm not perfect. I've been doing this for 30 years and I still make mistakes because I'm, I'm I'm going too fast. So, all right, our next um, part is going to be a 16 count drum break and that's from measures 23 through 28. Sorry, these are so small, so tiny, you can't see them. But, um, and you can see the count automatically updates. So I created this spreadsheet a long time ago to help me with this so I wouldn't have to manually count everything because it's a pain in the butt. All right, so we're gonna do measures 23 through, or wait, 23, 25. Okay, I can't, it's so small, I can't see it. 25 through 28. And then this is going to be a move for 16. So if you notice, I'm putting the counts here and then the notes, the second note field, I'm putting in what is going on with it. Um, this will be helpful later on if you have it pre but you can do it as you're as you're doing your drill um when you're putting your instructions and stuff like that so it'll help you out quite a bit so let's go ahead and do this here and we're gonna do drum break okay hopefully this won't be as painful watching as me doing it because <laughs> i'm getting tired so let's go ahead and move on so our next counts is 32 32 and then this is going to be measures 29 all the way through 
36. So that's pretty straightforward. So 29 to 36. And we're gonna do move for 32. Sorry, I'm being cheap here and not doing it. And then the next move is also a 32 counts from 37 to 45, I believe. So 44. So this is, should be um, 35 or 37 through 44. Okay, so we get another 32, 37, and this is going to be measure 37 to 44. Alright. Okay. Yeah, I'm running low. I gotta get, get get this done. Okay. And this is another move for 32. And I don't know what we're doing here yet. This is just kind of a move, just kind of it's moving along, doing its thing. Okay, so the next one's also really easy. Measure 45 through 48 is a 16 count move. So we're gonna go ahead and just plug that in. So 45 to 48. And then a move for 16. Poof. Perfect, okay. So our next move is 49, measure 49 through measure, goes all the way to 50. Actually, we're gonna do it through, I don't know. So this is, this is another dilemma. So we gotta figure out how we're gonna write this. So, I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter for our purposes of entering it in, because we have 16 and then eight and eight. So to me, these are part of the same phrasing. So we're gonna do 16 through here and then eight and eight. So we're gonna keep them separate. So 49 through 52. So it's a 16 counter, 49 to 52. And then this is also a 16 counter, and this is gonna be 53 through 56. So 53 to 56. And this is a move, move, uh, sorry, hold eight, move, hold eight, up, move eight. Okay, pretty straightforward. All right, so we're halfway through. So let's keep going. This is the swing section. Um, this should be a hold. I don't know why I don't have that marked on my score, but this is a hold. So I think we were going to do a Hold for 16 and move for 16. Don't know why I didn't write that, but that is I think what we're gonna do. So we're gonna mark that out for now. Once again, it's not set in stone, but I'm pretty sure that's what I wanted to do originally and I just didn't mark it correctly. 57 through 64. And this is a move, uh, hold 16, move six, uh, hold 16 move well i'm not doing it right hold 16 move 16. this is park and blow okay all right so now we're at measure 65 and we're doing a 24 counter and that's why it's also good to do this because you're going to catch stuff you mark wrong on this this sheet here and it's so important because I use this as I'm writing because I'm going to be looking at instrumentation. Who's playing? Where are they playing? Do they need to be closer to the front, further to the back? And this will help you if you're if it's messed up, what you have here. And as you change things on your Piware, so if like I decide I want to break up this phrase, I want to change it from X to Y, I need to mark it on here too on my score so that I know that's what I did. And then later on, you can actually give the score to the band director and say, this is what I did. This is all the changes, all the blocking, everything for the, the drill. If you wanted to, you can give it to them like that. And then that way they have it as, as reference, but it has to be accurate and correct. So, and I've made that mistake many times before of not doing that. So we have 65. All right. I'm trying to make sure I don't skew this too much. 270. All right, do we have a tempo change anywhere? I don't think we, oh, 152. Okay, so I did not put the 152 up here. And, you guys, and I'm catching myself as we go. 
So let me go back and make sure we don't have any other tempo changes that I missed. Okay. All right, so I'm looking back at my pages. Sorry, I'm looking here. Making sure. Um, that would be, nope. Okay, so we have 152 and that just keeps going. So the swing section, I need to make sure I put that on the swing section here. So let's go back to the swing section. I forgot to put the eighth notes equal, look, a quarter and an eighth. So it's like a triplet. So it's it's just swing, it's just telling me it's swing. So I don't know if I need to indicate anything there. It still, still counts. Okay, so I think we're good. And then the Latin section goes back to eighth notes. So, all right. All right, so let's go ahead and make sure I copy this down through here. I think it's gonna be pretty much through most of the song. So we're gonna go ahead and just include it here. All right. So we're gonna do 65 through 70. And this is just a move for 24. We don't know what we're gonna be doing specifically with that yet. And then this is the Latin section here. So we're gonna be doing 16 counts. And I'm probably missing some instructions, some points. So I know this isn't perfect, but hopefully this gives you guys a good idea of what to do. And you can come up with your own way of doing it. Move 16. Um, okay, so we're there. Oops, moving this around. All right, so we're at measure 71, 72, 73, 74. Okay, cool. So now we're at measure 75 through 78, and it's just pretty much carbon copy, 75 to 78. Um, I believe this is where the Latin starts. So where's the swing? Let me make sure I put the swing in there. So no, it's 57. So it's gonna be park and blow. So it's a swing. We'll add this here. Park and blow. And then we go back to Latin on 71. So let me put that here. So you guys, see I'm not perfect. <laughs> Straight eights. But once again, the band director is gonna know this because they're gonna be teaching it. All right, we're getting towards the end here. We are getting towards the end. So we're on 75 through 78. Now we're gonna just do the next 16. It's gonna be pretty straightforward here. 79 through 81. And we still have the 152 tempo. So let me go ahead and move this down just for a little bit longer. All right, so we have another 16. 79 through 82. Okay, I can count. Hooked on phonics worked for me. Okay, well, that's speaking, but okay. So 82, and then we have 83 through 86. And there's an accelerando here. So I did not mark this earlier. There's an accelerando here. And that's another reason why I like tapping because this is really hard to, to do in Pyware. It's very, very difficult. So, um, but that's okay. So we're going to mark that on our thing. So it's 16 counts, 83 to 86, move 16. We're going to put in here counts 13 to 16, the cello rondo. Okay. Okay. So this is a template. So I actually had um, color coding here for different movements. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get a, oh, I got to fix the page numbers here as well. All right. Fill series. So let's go ahead and just format painter this and format painter this and format painter this. So I'm just gonna make these all the same color for now. And the reason why I color code them is so that I know where, what colors 
or sorry when when the opener starts when the second movement starts third movement fourth movement and i'm going to change these colors here um that's just the colors i had before it's just easier on my eyes so that's why i use blues and grays and pastel colors because if it's too bright it just makes my eyes pop so we want to keep it uh, down so once we know where the end of this song is we'll we'll change the color to start the new the new song so but since we're only doing one song for this um we're, only, we're only gonna end right there anyway so all right so we're gonna go ahead and move on so we have a hold for 32 um it's a Fur furioso it's another park and blow so we have a hold for 32 move for 24 so how we want to put this on the count sheet is it's going to be a 56 total count and we're going to do 32 and 24. Um, you can do two separate tabs if you wanted to you can do it that way it's going to create an extra page when you go to print the drill though so you can maybe put the tab you can do a 32 and then we'll do a separate one for 24 and then that way we know which one's the hold which one's the move and then we can delete it out later so that way we can we don't mess it up but i'm not a big fan of that but you can you can do it that way but then if you forget or if you mess it up and you're like well wait a second this is a hold i can't remember what i did with the page tabs so i usually just do one page tab of 56 and then i go okay wait it's 32 and 24 and i did not put that on here so it's really a total of 56 counts so how do we want to do this i think we'll stick to the hold for 32 we'll do a 32 and a 24 because 56 is a lot of counts so we'll just go ahead and do that for now that might be safer um normally i don't know if i would do that but in this case we'll go ahead and do it so and this is a tempo change as well as 160 so we need to indicate that over in the tempo um, column but we're going all the way through measure 93 or 94 94 okay so we're going measure 87 to 94 and this is a hold for 32 um let's see park and blow oh i think i know why i did it for 32 because we might we could move during half of it or part of it or something like that so we'll, we'll do park and blow for now but we could change it later so i think that's why i originally thought of 32 so okay let's make mark the tempo on the end here is 160 poof and i think it stays 160 for the rest of the song it does okay good so we're good there we don't need to change that all right so we have a 24 count here hopefully i'm going to just zip through a lot of this so you guys won't see it all but i do want you to get the full experience of how exciting it is to write drill and this is a crescendo here and it's a bump 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 da 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 da, da. so it's a it's like the impact to the end okay so we're gonna go ahead and let's see we're gonna keep this i think it's two more sets we're gonna two more all right this the, i believe this is the last set it's 101 to the end so 101 whoops let's don't put that there it's 32 counts definitely don't want to do that and we're gonna do 101 to end or you can put the measure number if you want and this is a move we don't know what it is we're gonna put move for 32 but i have a feeling we're gonna be holding here uh -da -da -da. yeah so uh, we'll just put 32 we don't know what it is it's probably going to be a hold right here on the last hand so it's going to move for like 20 or move for 16 hold for 16 move for 24 hold for eight we don't know yet <laughs> wherever our creative intuition intuition tells us to go okay so this is going to be end of song and that's what i put in this instruction here okay so i'm going to go ahead and delete the rest of this out because normally you'd want to keep all this and like i said i will make sure this is here for you guys so that you have it um as a template because usually there's about anywhere from 40 to could be 100 pages of drill um usually i try to keep it around 44 to 55 pages of drill um but let me delete this out just so we don't get any errors when we import in 
All right, I'm gonna save this as a different version. You guys aren't gonna see this here. Okay, I have saved it. We have our Pyware count number. We have our measures. We have our notes and our tempos. Okay, so now that we've put all of our counts onto the count sheet, what we need to do is actually move it onto a template. So this is, like I said, this there's probably a better way to do this than the way I do it. Um, but this is just the way I've been doing it forever, as long as I can remember. Um, but once again, if there's a better way, hey, use a better way. But so what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna copy the data. So what I need to do is put the counts here and then we can put the measures and title over the tempo. Now subset, we're not gonna use that at all. So in Pyware, there's a checkbox to indicate whether or not that set is a um, subset or not. So then it puts it like three set 3A or set 3B or whatever it is. So we're not gonna use the subset column here. And I will include this template in the Google Drive that you guys will be able to access if you want. So let's grab the counts here. So we want the Pyro count numbers. And I'm just gonna put them here. I wanna make sure um, I only put the values. So select values, because it is actually using a formula to get that information over into from column B to C. So we wanna make sure we, we eliminate that. So we're gonna co copy everything all the way over to tempo. And that is going from the measures column D all the way over to column J. So we're gonna control C that. So there is a section called title that I don't have in my original template. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to update that. So let me update that because I completely forgot about that title thing. Um, so let's it's after measures insert. Uh, so I will update that. All right. And we can actually move that here. So title is going to be like beginning of the show or drum feature or whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't miss and, and that shows up differently on the drill. So I'll show you guys what that looks like when we get there. But I completely forgot about that. So let's grab from measures all the way over to tempo. Make sure I'm grabbing the right thing. Values, values, values. OK. So now we have the tempo in the tempo column and there are up, you can have up to five different notes. I generally don't use that much. Um, and the way I do it is a little bit different. You can set it up. There's so many different ways you can set up once we're in the drill to get the instructions onto the um, drill charts themselves. So I'm gonna kind of show you guys some different ways to do it. I like doing it a little bit differently, but you can do it however you wish. All right, but it looks like I have everything that I need where I need it. So this is where it gets a little more complicated. So I'm going to, let me go ahead and save this. We're going to save this as Malaguena. Okay. So I'm saving it as an Excel workbook. So there is going to be another step. So what I need to do is open up a notepad template. This one's called Pyware Template for Counts. And it looks like this. It looks very similar to what we have um, over here. I need both. I don't understand why we have two. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just going to copy everything here. I don't need the header row. And I'm just going to put it right here under count and then poof. Now it's gonna look weird because of the spacing and stuff, but you don't need to worry about that. It's gonna import in just fine once we get there because it's by tab, it's tab delimited. So let's go ahead and do file and we're gonna do save as, and this is gonna be uh, final Malaguena import counts. All right, like I said, there's probably a better way to do this. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, that's how I'm going to do it. All right. Well, that's going to end this video for right here. When we come back in the next video, we're actually going to learn how to set up Pyware using all the stuff we just did. So we, we created a count sheet and that took quite a long time. Um, and then we put our counts under the count sheet and then we transfer them into the templates um, that we need. And 
to import in so that we can set up our page tabs. Now there might be some cleanup we're still gonna have to do. It may not import correctly. It's been a while since I've done this. I'm gonna be straight up honest with you. I think the last time I wrote drill was last uh, year and a half ago at this point. Cause I haven't, I haven't written any drill um, this season. I took the season off. So I'm a little bit rusty, but hopefully we'll get there. But thank you guys so much for joining me. If you have not subscribed, please consider doing so. Just click that like button, or excuse me, hit that subscribe button, and then make sure you set your notifications. You get notified when we have cool videos like the one you're watching right now um, on March or Die. So thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, march on.